Hello, this is Xtal. In this tutorial, we're going to create a tracking-based visual system inside Touch Designer. The concept is simple but powerful. We'll analyze each frame of a video, detect its edges, and use Python scripting to generate moving points that trace those edges over time. Instead of using predefined effects, we'll build a generative system that reacts directly to the image data, turning pixel information into dynamic, organic motion. By combining top-based image processing with Python-driven logic, we'll explore how motion, randomness, and structure can coexist in a living visual. Let's dive in and build a visual tracker that draws movement itself. We start by bringing in the source footage. This will be the visual base we'll analyze and track. The goal here is not just to display a video, but to extract data from its light and motion. Every frame will serve as material for our generative system. Before extracting edges, I apply a slight blur to the source footage. This step helps remove high-frequency noise and creates a smoother gradient for more accurate tracking. Think of it as softening the image just enough for the algorithm to read its movement clearly. We now hand the blurred footage to a script top. Here, every frame is converted to luminance and thresholded to extract edges. From those edges, I randomly sample positions each frame and place letters that fade over time. This turns motion into typography, a tracker that writes along the light. The canvas persists with decay, so strokes accumulate into living trails. In this stage, we build a mock-up structure to prepare for combining three separate scripts into one unified system. Each script currently operates independently, and this setup allows us to align their outputs within a single network for integration testing. In this stage, we refine the tonal balance of the input footage. Using the monochrome, we convert the color video into a grayscale image. This allows the tracking system to focus purely on luminance, eliminating the influence of color data during edge detection. Next, with the level, we fine-tune brightness and contrast to enhance the clarity of the edges and improve text tracking accuracy. Finally, we connect the adjusted image to the composite for a preliminary merge with the other layers. Next, we connect the threshold top after the blur process to extract fine edge details based on luminance intensity. Applying a threshold to the blurred image helps isolate only the essential light regions while suppressing noise and unwanted artifacts. This refinement ensures that the following text tracking stage operates on a clean and stable edge dataset. The threshold value may vary depending on the source footage, but starting around 0.5, usually provides a balanced separation between bright and dark regions.
This script creates a fine-edged typography tracker. It takes the thresholded luminance, converts it into a binary mask, and extracts a thin edge map using a four-directional neighbor comparison. For each frame, it generates a new RGBA canvas and samples up to 60 edge pixels. Each sampled point draws a bitmap letter from the underscore alpha set using the underscore draw underscore letter function, placing it directly onto the canvas at the target coordinate. Letters are distributed around the detected edges, following a four-way offset pattern with subtle random jitter, forming delicate clusters that highlight the micro contours of the image while keeping the composition organic and dynamic. Instead of following a fixed text sequence, the script randomly selects characters, creating a particle-like typographic layer that naturally follows the light and movement. Unlike the first script, which builds a decaying trail through accumulated frames, this version focuses on sharp, immediate reactions and precise edge definition. When combined with the first layer, it produces a strong visual contrast between flowing motion and fine-grained tracking detail. This script implements a motion tracking line drawing system that visualizes the flow of movement derived from the edge data of an input video. Each frame is converted to grayscale, and edges are extracted using a defined thresh value to generate a binary mask. From the active edge pixels, up to points coordinates are randomly sampled, with jitter applied to introduce slight positional variations, creating a more organic and fluid motion response. Line rendering is handled by the underscore draw underscore line function, which uses a Bresenham style rasterization algorithm to draw precise pixel-based strokes. Each connection between points is assigned a randomly generated RGB color, producing multicolored trajectories that weave dynamically across the canvas. The fade parameter attenuates the canvas over time, gradually reducing previous pixel values to leave ghost-like motion trails that evolve frame by frame. This fading mechanism transforms the drawing from a static composition into a temporal visualization of motion continuity. In this step, I connect script 2 and script 3 to the comp1 node to merge every visual layer, the flowing text motion, the precise edge tracking, and the reactive line trails, into a single screen blended composition that feels alive and continuous in motion.
Next, I connect a monochrome node to script 3 to reduce the overall tone and fine-tune the color balance, allowing the line tracking visuals to blend more naturally with the surrounding footage and create a smooth, cohesive look. This is the final output setup stage. The combined result from Comp1 is connected through the Render, Null, and Movie Fileout chain, allowing you to adjust parameters such as frames per second, codec, and quality to export the final visual when ready. This setup organizes all layers, tracking motion, typography, and line visuals into one cohesive composition ready for rendering. In this tutorial, we created a motion tracking visual system where text and lines respond dynamically to the movement within a video. Starting from movie file in, blur, threshold, we refine the visual data and use three custom scripts to express different motion characteristics. The first focusing on flow and trails, the second on fine edge tracking, and the third on line-based motion connection. We then combined all layers in the comp node, adjusted the tone with monochrome and level, and set up the render null movie file out chain, making the project ready for export. This project goes beyond a simple visual effect. It explores how data and motion can transform into a visual language. Experience how movement can form sentences and how text can breathe within the rhythm of motion. Thank you for watching and following along. I hope this tutorial inspires new ideas in your own creative journey.